Hi friends, I have a bunch of really great August favorites and fails for you today. I did have quite a few fails, I'm kind of surprised. And so if you're new to my channel, welcome to you. I hope that you do decide to subscribe. I am an over 50 woman that loves all things beauty. I have a passion for makeup, skincare, hair care, all those things. And I hope that you do decide to subscribe and ring the bell. Now, one thing, has everybody heard that YouTube has not been making those notifications like they should. I'm hoping that is just a glitch because the bells are still on the pages and I do know that some genres are still being able to ring the bell and get notified, which is like, okay, why aren't we getting notified in the beauty community? There was a few other communities that weren't getting um, notified either. So I assume that it's just a glitch right now and that we, it will get resolved really quickly. So if you wouldn't mind, please giving this video also a thumbs up. I do appreciate all of you that have been here for a long time doing that for me so faithfully. It helps my channel so very much. And also if you're somebody that often comes by to see the quips, don't worry, that is still around. That is at the end of the video now so if you want your daily dose of funny wait until the very end and you'll get to see what was on my weird brain today so let's get into the august favorites and fails right now i like to get the fails over first because i don't really like to dwell on things that i don't like very much but you guys have probably already seen that elf came out with the little duos like their quads of their eyeshadows and i was excited to get this because the eyeshadows are a very good quality but I have found that these ones, they're not very pigmented and they're very chalky. I don't know if that is something that everybody is feeling about these or not, but I just don't feel like they perform as well as the eyeshadow quads do. Just the quality wasn't there that I had found with the other products. Also a fail from e.l.f., that's why it's still in the packaging, is this um, multi-dimension face face and body shimmer. Now, the reason that it's a fail is because, again, it just had that chalky feel to it. I feel like I'm always looking for the glass-like skin highlighters, and this one just did not live up to that for me. So that was one that I was disappointed in. And then another thing that I wasn't crazy about this month is I picked up from Makeup Revolution. This is their concealer, um, high coverage concealer in the pot. I do have the one that's in the squeezy tube that is one of my very favorite concealers of all time. But this one, it's it really dense, it's really thick. And as I used it, it might be better in the winter months, I will kind of start to use my more creamy products again as the weather changes and as it gets drier. But for right now, it just was too thick and it creased because of it being humid outside and it being hot. And then the last fail was from Garnier, Garnier Fruit Trees Invisible Dry Shampoo. I was really excited about this because it says it has the invisible part of it, but I found that when I sprayed it on my hair, it just made it feel heavier. And I have very fine, very thin hair, and so I don't need that. I don't need something making weighing my hair down more, and this was kind of a fail. So enough about the bad things. Let's get into the good things. This month, um, Tammy from Ageless Beauty, she did a fantastic um two-part series on her hair and how she takes care of it and the products that she does. I'll make sure that I link that down below because I just think it's such a really, really great video for anybody that wants to really take care of hair that's a little bit longer. Her hair is so much longer than mine, but I love taking care of my a little bit longer hair as I age. She had talked about so many different products and I bit the bullet and I got a bunch of them. So these are my first two. She talked about this brush, the wet brush. Actually, I don't know if she talked about it or if she just showed what she was using, but the wet brush, it detangles hair even when it's wet. Of course, you always want to start from the bottom on hair that's wet. You don't ever want to tug from the top because you're going to pull your hair and you'll stretch it because when it's wet, it does get more um, pliable and it will pull it and stretch it and really damage it. But the, these brushes are so good for um, just going through the hair so smoothly. It leaves the hair shiny without getting a bunch of static in them. I really do like these. I got these as a pair and I will make sure that I link them for you and I really do enjoy having them. They just go through my hair and they don't, you know, give any frizz or anything as I'm using them. You can use them as paddle brushes when you're drying your hair too to do a straight uh, blowout and instead of, you know, any sort of a curve. So have been loving those. Also, she talked about the Living Proof 
Perfect Hair Day Nightcap. This is an overnight treatment that you put on your hair, then you wash it out in the morning so you don't put it on nights when you are not going to be washing your hair because it will have a weighing down effect. But I had forgotten about this because I used this like seven or eight years ago and I loved how soft it made my hair feel afterwards because my hair like again it's very fine it's very thin and products in it have to perform well with fine hair and not weigh it down and this i do two or three pump pumps at night um kind of really being cognizant of the ends and making sure that i really coat the ends then i pull my hair up i sleep on it and then wash it out the next day and my hair is so soft and the treatment on it is so good and i've just been really enjoying this and then also one that I heard from Kathy's Beauty Care Chats. Love that Southern girl. She's just the sweetest thing ever. If you guys haven't seen her, I'll make sure that I link her too. I did hear this on her channel. Actually, I think it was on her um, Instagram stories. And she was talking about the Alternate Caviar Anti-Aging Multiplying Volume Styling Mist Body and Light Hold. So... This is really good as far as, you know, just giving you a lot of body, giving you a lot of thickness. Um, it does have a little bit of hold in it, so it's gonna do that too. What I do is I use it on damp hair, and I will spray this across my hand, rub it in my hands, and just work it through my hair. It does a really good job as you're blowing your hair out to give you a ton of volume and body, and I've been really enjoying this. And again, this isn't super inexpensive, but I've used it ever since I got it every single time, so I've probably used it a dozen times already. Already, and it's only like that far down. So a little bit goes a long way. This is going to last you a long time, which is really good. A little bit of skincare. This is the Secret Key Starting Treatment Essence that has galactomyces in it. Every time I say that, I stumble over that word. It has galactomyces, which is a fermentation process that they found is so good for aging skin and it softens. It helps fine lines and wrinkles. It's also an antioxidant and it helps protect during the day and I, I've had this for such a long time, but I think I've really been enjoying it so much during these hot, humid months because it's an essence and I don't have to stack all of the really heavy products on top of each other. I'm just using essences this summer and I've just really appreciated that. I do have a video where I talk all about the essences that I use. Not that I use just every single essence every day, but I do use the secret key morning and night. This is something that I have found has just really changed my skin for the better. And I'm just really impressed by it's it. It's one of those products that is actually a dupe for the SK2 or the SKII, whichever one you wanna say, that is at Sephora. And this size is like $180. Well, this one is like $18 or something like that. They do have a rose version, which is supposed to be super hydrating. It does have a slight rose fragrance to it. If you're, you know, very uh, opposed to fragrances, just know that the regular one does not have any fragrance in it whatsoever but this works so good for me and it's such a a changing product for my aging skin and the softness more than anything I think is what I've noticed is that my skin is just super duper soft and I love that it's an antioxidant as well so I really have been enjoying that one I'm also really enjoying the elf hello hydration face cream and I know that they have one of these that has an SPF in it that everybody loves for the day and that's great my personal thing is I use SPF anyway so I just got the regular one and I have been noticing that my skin is staying very hydrated but it's light and that's what I like about it because you know as you sweat and you get really warm you know anything that's underneath your makeup can sometimes break your makeup apart and but that's what I'm noticing that I love about this is that it plays well under makeup it but does I have you know a little bit thicker of a formula but it really sinks into the skin really quickly and that's what I have been loving. It's just one that I don't notice makes any sort of a greasy film or anything. So if you're a little bit on the oily side, but you notice that during the day your skin can get dry in patches, you might try this. So it might work really good for you. And it's a good price point too. One of the things I was so excited about this month is Juvia's Place launching their lip products. It might've been towards the last of the month last month, but I, 
am so in love with this lip gloss. It's just one of those ones that when I put it on, I love the way it looks. I love the reflect in it. It's got this little um, iridescent, um, almost pinky lavender look to it. And I just think it's so fun. I love the fragrance of it. It does have a slight vanilla fragrance. And the high shine that you get from lip glosses is what's going to make your lips look fuller. I know a lot of people don't like wearing a lot of lip gloss, but this is one that seems to last well. It doesn't have a sticky feel to it. And it does give that juicy pouty look to your lips. I was saying, through Octoly and gifted by Pat McGrath this mascara which is the Dark Star mascara and I do have it on this eye today as my mascara the one thing that I will say about this mascara that holds me back from saying that that yes this is a fantastic mas mascara it does have just a straight up and down wand but I will say that this I've had it for I think three or four weeks now maybe three weeks and this got so dried out and so clumpy so fast and for me if this is a mascara that is a mascara that's going to be over $25 a tube I don't want it clumping like that. So I am having to really work at getting this. It, you can probably kind of see, hopefully the camera is going to pick up on this. Can you kind of see how clumpy it's getting? So when I work with it on my eyes, I kind of have a mess if I'm not really careful and take the time to wipe it off. The formula is great. I just think that they need a little bit better of a stopper that's going to pull more of the mascara off of the actual wand. And I think that's their problem. I love the formula. But that delivery system needs to be changed on that. So that's just kind of my opinion on it. A mascara that I also was sent, and actually I was sent two eyeliners and the mascara from, this is called Casa Zeta Jones. This is from Catherine Zeta Jones. And she started a... Um, new line through wonder two cosmetics wonder two cosmetics is known for their wonder brow that stays on so well and it's a great great line of products that will stay with you and they're beautiful they're great products now these are no different as far as their lasting power i have this one this mascara on this eye there's not that same problem that there was with the pat mcgrath one there isn't too much on the wand the wand is a little bit smaller i do like that about it it stays on all day it doesn't flake it doesn't smudge and it's going to be there at night when you get ready to take it off but it's super easy to take off too so i think that's great about it as well so this is the eyeliner these are super duper creamy i love the shade of this brown too it's a little bit bright brighter brown it's not like a really espresso brown or anything deep like that but these are great you can take a minute and you know smudge them out if you want to but you also if you want that stark line you have it it's great in the water line and it stays there for several hours Let's be real about our waterline. Nothing stays in the waterline for all day. It's just the way it is because of hopefully our tear ducts are doing their job. But this is awesome for being a very waterproof liner. I and think that it, they are really outstanding products and I'm going to love seeing her develop her line. And hopefully she does have a lot of success because these two products so far are really good and I've really been enjoying them. And by the way, this mascara does build on itself. So if you're somebody that likes to do one coat and then go back and do another coat, this is your mascara mascara for that too. It's going to do really good. So really enjoying those. The lip combo that I have on today, this was sent to me too, except for the lip gloss. I did buy that one, which I just showed you, but this is from Palladio. I, for some reason, thought that Palladio was out of business, but it's not. It They still have it, and they contacted me, and they wanted to send these to me, and I am actually really enjoying this lip combo. You know, they're sold at Sally Beauty, by the way. You can pick them up at Sally Beauty, Beauty. The waterproof lip liner, this is the plum color. Good color for me. Really good color for me. And what they sent me, I would never have picked as my lip combo myself, but it was kind of fun that they sent me. This is the lipstick, and this one is called Pinky. It's basically just a frosty lipstick like what we used to wear quite a while ago. I like metallic frosty lipsticks personally, and I like this one too. It's kind of got a nice sheen in it. It's got a really pretty light catching effect to it, but when you mix the two together, that's when it looks really pretty. The two of them just kind of mixed a little bit together. The lipstick I'm not quite as impressed with as I am the lip liner. The lip liner is super creamy, super blendable. Once it sits down, you have it there for several hours unless you eat. Um, it's going to wear off really nice. It's not going to, you know, leave 
patchy spots or anything like that. The lipstick, I would like it to be just a tiny bit creamier, but I will say that because it's not so creamy, it does last a long time. Let me just try some on. I know I put that gloss on, but let's just put some on. It's pretty, pretty color. The two together, I would never have picked this up and put this together as a lip combo, but it's really beautiful on the lips itself. So yeah, I'm really liking that. I was but sent a lot of things this month after I had just gotten done with that video where I said that I'm not on anybody's PR list. I did get picked up by Palladio and I got picked up by Re Makeup Revolution, which I am so over the moon happy. If you guys haven't seen on my Instagram stories, um, Makeup Revolution sent me a gargantuan PR package and it was so kind of them. I am so thankful that they did that. Out of everything that I tried out of that PR pa package, this is the thing so far that is like, okay, I'm pretty impressed with this. This is their new Conceal and Define. They already have the Hydrate and the regular one. This one is called Infinite. It's just like their other ones as far as having a big doe foot applicator on it. I wear C6 and this is a perfect brightening color for me. I am absolutely loving this. I will just put a tiny bit on just to show you a little bit more of how well it does. I am just, I'm taking a tiny bit on my finger and actually I'm going to pat that between the two fingers so I don't get too much on. And I'm just going to go under here and just really quickly because here's the thing you guys. I don't have to put powder on with this. Is, is that amazing or what, that you don't have to put powder on with it? And when I'm in a really humid part of the year, I'm gonna powder anyway. But I have noticed on days when I'm just staying home, I'm not doing anything, you know, I put this on, it sets down. I don't have to use a powder if I don't want to. It is so good. It covers so well with such a tiny amount. And I am very, very impressed with this. It says it's 16 hour wear. And when you usually get something that is super long wearing, don't you guys find that it just dries you and it's got like sucks the life out of you? This doesn't, it wears so well. And I'm so excited for this because I don't normally buy things that say that because I know they're gonna be super matte and they're going to really have a, I'm gonna have a really hard time with them, but not this. I'm really impressed with this and I'm so happy that to be on their PR list. And I will bring you reviews on all the other stuff as well, but this is the thing that I picked out of there immediately and fell in love with immediately. So really liking this. A lot of you were asking about the Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation. This is what I do have on today. I will say that this foundation is thicker and it is a little bit more matte. This color is not a perfect color for me. It is LN6. It is a little bit too orange, so I did have to put some of my blue correcting um, pigment in there from LA Girl, and which I do with almost every foundation I put on. I will also say that I don't feel like this is good enough to be like my concealer too. So what its claim is, is that it is, you know, it can be your concealer, your foundation, your prep step, all of those things. And you won't have to use so many steps. I do the steps anyway, because I have older skin. So what you need to know is it's matte. It's very long wearing. A little bit goes a long way because of that thickness. You might even want to mix in a little bit of a primer with it, but it's pretty. It's really pretty on the skin. It covers all of my discoloration and my blemishes. Like I said, I'm breaking out like a mad woman right now because of hormones and I'm having a big problem with that but this covered everything. I don't even think you guys would be able to tell that I do have a lot of pimples on my, my face right now. I have this one you can maybe see, but I've had one here, 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 here. I have had them everywhere and all on this side and down my neck right here, down my chin right there. Yeah, it's very frustrating, but this did the job of covering it over completely. So if you're somebody that likes a medium coverage, I don't think this is gonna be for you. If you're somebody that prefers a BB, very light um, foundation, cream, that kind of thing, this probably won't be for you either. But if you're somebody that struggles with keeping your makeup on all day long and getting it to cover because you have maybe some of those concerns that I do, then you might really, really like this. But keep in mind that it's thicker, full coverage, and a matte formula. So just those things, if those are things that you're looking for, then definitely give this a try. And I've been liking it a lot this month. It wears really well throughout the day too. You're gonna have it on at the end of the day. It's not something that's gonna come off in just you know your everyday wear. And so I'm, 
I'm really liking it. I think it's a good one. Um, I can definitely put it in a get ready with me one of these first days so that you guys can actually see it in action as far as how thick it is and whatnot, but it's good. All right, last product. This was a long video. I invested in a silk eye patch for night. Okay, this has a, a rubber band, goes around the back of your head. It's adjustable right here. Got it off of Amazon. Put it on your eyes at night. You can throw this in the washer in one of those um, nylon bags and it comes out super clean. It's really nice to wear. I have been getting the best night's sleep that I've gotten in years. And when I read on these, I'm like, can this really be the case? You know, you're like trying to get all these claims going and you're like, I'm so skeptical about everything like that. But what the claim is, is that as soon as it goes dark in your room or goes dark at night, melatonin starts to work and it's released and it helps you sleep in your natural melatonin. And I know that I'm kind of deficient in melatonin. I've never had good a good night's sleep. Even with the night sweats that I have, I don't have a great night's sleep, but wow, I'm like, this thing works and I was so impressed and I was talking to my husband about it that he got one and then I got my oldest son one. They're wearing theirs now, not with the pretty pink eyelashes on them, but they are wearing theirs now too at night and they say the same thing. They're getting better sleep than they've gotten in years. Another really great nice thing about my husband having it is he has to get up like at 3 30, 4 o'clock in the morning and so he goes to bed like at 8 or 8 30 and I am still watching TV even though, you know, I just have closed captioning on a lot of times. I'm still watching TV, so he needs to have something dark so he can really get a good night's rest. This does the trick. I'm so impressed with these. I can't believe that it took me so long. If you want a good night's sleep and you haven't been getting one in a long time, invest in one of these. I think it's like $10. You're gonna love it, I think. That's it for today's video, you guys. Thanks so much for stopping by. Stay to the end for the quip. Remember, please give this video a thumbs up on your way out of here. Tell me in the comment section what you loved this month. I'd love to hear from you. And I hope you all stay safe, stay sanitized, stay healthy, take care of yourselves. I love you very much. Catch you all in my next video. Bye-bye.